this is where we were parked, uh, returning from grocery shopping. This is where the pickup truck that I had noticed following me before was parked. As we came in uh, here, we saw that the laundry room had been closed uh, with a torn cardboard handwritten sign. And there was somebody lying in wait here, as you can see, is a nice clear view with the door shut on the inside. But as you walk past on the outside, it's impossible to see inside. So that's where they were at. But we had the groceries in hand. We went into the apartment to unload. My suspicions were already aroused this particular day because my wife's kind of just general attitude kind of made me feel like something was going on and I wasn't sure what it was. You know, just got into my head and that I really did believe that there was somebody in that laundry room that I dialed 911 and called the police. As we were talking to the police, the gunman ran out of that door and down the alley and was kind of let go. I think 10 years of pressure and drinking, she could be looking for a way out of the marriage and thought that that might have been the easiest way. Didn't happen. Mm -mm. No, now, I assume, and you called the police. Yes, sir. Okay, so did you file a complaint for attempted murder or conspiracy to commit murder or? There was no opportunity for that. Uh, I was basically dismissed as being crazy from the initial interaction with the police. They just offered me a, a place to go to get away from the situation. They offered you a place to go, but not a hotel. No, it was a mental facility. A mental facility. That's not offering you a ride to get away from her. That's <laughs> taking you. That's taking you somewhere that you need to go because you need help. Yeah. Because they thought you were delusional. Yes, sir. And you said that while they were there, the hitman ran out. He did indeed. Behind their backs. Not behind their backs. They saw him. And it was kind of my mistake. When I called 911, I reported it as, hey, my wife's trying to kill me. And so they came to the apartment. And what I should have done was said, hey, there's a gunman in my laundry room and drove the police to the laundry what room. What you should have done is believe that your wife is not trying to kill you. You're saying the police were there and the hit man ran out in front of them? Yes, sir. And I appealed even in the moment to stop that guy right there who just came out of that laundry room. That's who I'm calling about. And he was out that door and in that truck and gone. He and was hot footing it. He was, he was definitely hot footing it. And he took okay. out. Uh, there was a, no repairs done in the laundry room. The you sign. Had a gun with him or anything that I you could see? I couldn't see that. I mean, I wouldn't expect him to be like waving it over his head, but I mean. I couldn't see that. Okay. And did they see him run out? They did. And they didn't pursue him in any kind of way? Think to ask him or anything? Nothing. Did you, does that seem odd to you? I thought it was very odd. And I even appealed to the officers at the time and said, well, if this was role reversal and my wife had called you and said I was trying to kill her, would we be having this same conversation? Because nothing, I'm not trying to do anything to you, Tom. I love you. I love you. I'm not trying to kill you. Okay, so you, you have sons. Two boys. And you accuse them of being in on this. I accuse them of being together in this. I just don't feel like she could have pulled this off without them knowing or, or understanding or seeing some sort of signals or sign. Okay, what is most likely here? Usually, the simplest explanation of a phenomenon is more often the best, you know, the simplest thing. What is the most likely that your, your sons and your wife are in a conspiracy with a hitman in a laundry room to knock you off, or of which you have no proof, or that you've become I think that's, and that's why I'm here and that's why I'm uncertain. I do also agree with that and agree with what you're saying. So as I even say it out loud and have been saying it out loud, it just sounds so absurd. Have, um, have there been any other attempts on your life? No. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.